Good morning, I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson. I'm tracking some severe storms that are firing up and entering our area this morning. We are under a risk of severe weather. I'm going to be talking about that level risk and what kind of severe weather we could see this morning. So I hope you are prepared. We have some severe storms that are entering our area. The time right now is 841 um, on your Thursday morning. So you can see behind me the radar. There is a severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect for Jasper, this is um, Patoka Lake over to English, eventually making its way towards Crawford County here shortly, and then Perry County is that next uh, one in the past. So Du Bois County is the one that's under the severe thunderstorm warning right now. Feel free to comment below if you're seeing anything out there. There's a lot of lightning with this storm as well. I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as we can, but let's go ahead and get you back to that radar full this morning. So you can see that radar pretty active. They're, these are the batch of thunderstorms that we're gonna have to be watching here throughout the morning heading our way here uh, over the next few hours it's going to take a, a kind of a south southeastward turn so it might miss the metro and head directly towards tell city fort knox radcliffe some of our communities in the immediate west so severe thunderstorm warning is now in effect uh for for du bois county and just a little sliver of Orange County right now, but it's mainly for Du Bois County as that storm is moving off to the southeast. There is a lot, a lot of lightning with it, so it is not safe to be outside when we have this much lightning in this thunderstorm. I would give it about uh, 30 to 45 more minutes until it moves out of this area uh, where it's safe to head outside because we could also potentially be seeing flash flooding. There's no flash flood warning, but if we continue to see these heavy downpours, that could be a possibility. I'm going to go ahead and put a track on this storm that we are tracking. It's moving to the southeast at 60 miles per hour. And these are the cities that are in the past. So Jasper 849, you have about five minutes before you really start hearing that lightning and those heavy, heavy downpours. Ferdinand, you have until 9 10 this morning so you have about 30 minutes and then english is not going to head your way until almost 10 o'clock this morning so by the time it makes its way to cordon and brandenburg it's going to be about 10 11 o'clock around lunchtime once it heads towards more of the populated metro communities so you still have a few hours if you need to run in a quick errand before these severe storms head your way uh, that's a good idea to do so. So i'm not seeing anything tornadic the reason why the severe thunderstorm warning is issued is for actually hail. So I wanna go ahead and pull up our hail tracker real quick to see it. And there it is. This is some strong indications that we're seeing hail over Oakland City. That's not in our area, but that severe storm could be heading towards Ferdinand here over the next 30 to 45 minutes. So this storm over here is producing hail, the one in Du Bois County. We are not seeing any signatures of it producing hail, but these storms are possible to produce hail at any point in time and also some strong wind gusts. Again, we're seeing a hail threat with this storm, also seeing some strong wind gusts out there, but nothing too concerning, uh, not seeing really strong wind gusts. I wouldn't say damaging winds is apparent right now. I would say really that hail threat and also the lightning is going to be the main concern with this thunderstorm. So getting a little bit of a wider view, uh, this is the thunder, these are the severe storms that we're tracking going to head off to the south, southeast uh, at 60 miles per hour. So it will be heading our way here in the next hour or two around the metro um, and then eventually towards Campbellsville probably around noon to 1 p.m. and more of a 1 p.m. kind of situation. So we are under a level three out of five risk for severe weather. So this is a heightened risk just west of Louisville. Metro Louisville is under that heightened risk. We just got a new uh, warning. Let me just check this real quick. All right, we're okay. Uh, level three out of five risk for severe weather through the metro, uh, por portions of Clark County. Uh, so that's just saying that the storms that we're watching on the radar is mainly going to track west of the downtown area. So Newcastle, Frankfurt, our friends over in Madison, Bardstown, you'll be getting some of the stronger storms, but these communities especially will be missing out on the worst of it. Um, so main risk is going to be the damaging wind and hail and flash flooding. We're not as concerned with tornadoes throughout the morning. We really aren't seeing a lot of rotation in our atmosphere. Um, 
as, as of right now. But as we head towards the afternoon, if we happen to see any storms around 4 or 5 p.m., that's when the ingredients are a little bit more favorable to see a, a isolated tornado. So really the main risk throughout the morning is hail and some strong wind gusts. So those storms will head its way towards the metro towards the mid to late morning and then more of an early afternoon event for Campbellsville and Columbia um, as it's going to produce some heavy downpours, some strong wind gusts right along that front. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that forecast model real quick again. So the storms right now entering Jasper, Paoli, English, then it'll be heading towards the metro at nine in the morning. So right along the front of it, that is where we can see those strong wind gusts. If we're gonna see any damaging wind, it would be right along the front uh, leading edge of this thunderstorm. Not looking it, uh, to see anything tornadic, but if we happen to see a spin up, it would be brief and likely won't be as strong just with the type of weather scenario that we have here. It's more gonna be damaging straight line winds, which I do wanna note could be just as uh, dangerous as a weekend tornado. So flash flooding could also be a concern if we continue to see those heavy downpours track through our area. So once we head towards 11 o'clock to, to the early afternoon, then it'll affect more of our communities into central Kentucky. But if you're in Madison, Newcastle, Frankfort, Oldham County, Shelby County, probably going to miss out on the worst of it. So better news for you, most of those thunderstorms will be off to the west. We are still dealing with some bad air quality. We are downgraded to a code orange, so conditions have gotten slightly better. So there is some better news with that, but we're still definitely going to be dealing with some harsh air quality conditions throughout the day today. Seven day forecast, a lot of thunderstorms out there today with that severe weather risk. Tomorrow we also have a low end severe weather risk um, as we head throughout the afternoon. A heat advisory is also in place for tomorrow. We could see heat index values up to a 105 out there and temperatures will be in the mid mid 90s. But our main my main focus for this live is to talk about here and now. And if anybody has any questions, the chat went away. Um, so I, I haven't been able to see any comments. If you wanted to re comment real quick, I have a, I have to do a cut into WHAS 11 on TV here in about seven minutes. So I'm gonna hop off here shortly. But I will go over the severe thunderstorm warning if we have a few new joiners right now. Uh, tracking a severe thunderstorm, I'm actually going to go ahead and take off the lightning for a second just to kind of get an idea of uh, how much rain we're seeing. So some heavy downpours, that is where we could potentially be seeing hail. You see that kind of light pink color? That's the radar picking up significant hail that is just to the west of Jasper, just out of our area. So we'll be watching that cross 69, uh, about to enter some of our communities if something looks familiar. Santa Claus town is over here. So hail is going to be the main impact that we're going to see with these thunderstorms, not really seeing strong wind gusts with this system. That's going to be moving off towards our area here throughout the morning with a lot of lightning that is coming with it. So the last thing I'm going to do on this live is put a track on this whole batch of storms and just time it out when it's going to be heading towards Metro Louisville. That timestamp, 11.15 this morning. So we have some time. We have two hours. Uh, so it's going to take some time to make its way towards the metro, but there's a chance it could cut off just to west, so western Jefferson County, um, Le uh, Liebenworth, uh, E-Town, Hardinsburg. Those are the areas that are in the path of this storm that we're watching. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... In this Facebook Live, I have to do uh, WHS 11 on TV a cut in. Uh, but if I see anything else concerning, I'm going to hop on Facebook Live or also cut into TV and post on all of our socials. So stay updated with WHS 11 as of now, really just seeing a hail threat with these severe thunderstorms that are entering our Indiana communities right now and then eventually towards Kentucky by 11 o'clock lunchtime or around the noon hour. So I hope you have a great day. Please stay safe out there as we are tracking some.